Welcome friends, today we are going to dive into the world of natural wonders and tell you about a plant that is considered a real treasure of nature. This plant has amazing properties and is able to treat many diseases. Ready to learn about the secret properties of the fern that may change the way you think about medicine. For centuries, the fern has been the focus of many cultures. For example, the Native Americans of North America considered it a sacred plant used in healing rituals and the treatment of various ailments. They prepared tinctures and decoctions of fern roots and leaves, using them to ease stomach aches, relieve skin inflammation, and even as an antiseptic for treating wounds. Fern also played a significant role in Siberian medicine. Siberian peoples used it as a remedy for colds and flu. The roots and leaves of the fern could help with mild respiratory diseases, helping to reduce coughs and promoting the expectoration of phlegm. The mystery of the fern lies in its rich chemical composition. It contains numerous bioactive substances, such as antioxidants and antiseptics. These properties make fern a valuable plant in medicinal applications. However, despite such a rich history of use, many of its potential properties still remain a mystery to modern medicine. The variety of ferns is staggeringly diverse. There are over 10,000 species of this plant each with its own unique characteristics and properties. One of the best-known species is the common fern, Polypodium vulgare. Its leaves are usually about 20 centimeters long and are widely used in folk medicine. Biologically active substances contained in the fern are key to its healing properties. The main active component is polysaccharides, which have anti-inflammatory and immunomodulatory properties. Fern also contains flavonoids, antioxidants, and vitamins such as vitamin C and vitamin K. The roots and leaves of the fern are commonly used for medicinal purposes. They can be applied in the form of infusions, decoctions, or ointments. For example, a decoction of fern roots can help with gastrointestinal disorders and respiratory problems. Fern leaves can be used as wraps to relieve inflammation and reduce pain in joint disorders. Fern, due to its valuable properties, can be used to treat and alleviate a number of diseases and conditions. This plant is often used in traditional medicine and folk practice in different parts of the world. One of the most well-known medicinal properties of fern is its ability to relieve inflammation. This makes it a valuable remedy for treating joint conditions such as arthritis and osteoarthritis. Fern-based rubs and compresses can help soothe pain and reduce swelling. Fern also shows positive effects on the respiratory system. It can be used to relieve symptoms of bronchitis, asthma, and cough. Its anti-inflammatory properties help to reduce irritation of the respiratory tract. Another important use of fern is its ability to support gastrointestinal health. This plant can be helpful for gastritis, stomach ulcers, and intestinal infections. Examples of successful treatments using fern are numerous. People suffering from chronic joint pain report relief of symptoms after using remedies based on this plant. Patients with bronchial asthma notice that fern helps them breathe easier. The success stories of these individuals confirm the potential of fern in medical applications and motivate to research this valuable herb even further. For medicinal purposes, it is important to properly harvest and prepare fern. Here are a few steps to help you get the most out of this plant. Collecting fern. The best time to collect fern is in the spring or early summer when the plant is in active growth. Favor locations where the fern grows wild and is not exposed to pollution. Carefully cut off the tops of the fern, leaving the roots intact. Drying. After collecting, rinse the fern and dry it thoroughly to avoid mold. Spread the plant in a thin layer on a clean surface and allow it to dry naturally. This usually takes a few days. Preparing tinctures and decoctions. You can make a tincture from dried fern by pouring boiling water over it and infusing it for a few hours. For a decoction, boil the dried parts of the plant in water. Remember that prolonged boiling can reduce the effectiveness of some biologically active substances. Dosage and intake. The dosage of fernet can vary greatly depending on your purpose. It is recommended that you start with the lowest dose and increase it gradually, watching your body's response. 
Consult a professional homeopath or naturopath for more accurate recommendations. Duration of intake. The duration of taking Fernet may also vary depending on the purpose and formulation. It is important to adhere to the recommendations and not to exceed the recommended course of treatment. Remember that fern is a powerful herb and misuse can be harmful. Be sure to consult your doctor or naturopath before beginning treatment, especially if you have a chronic condition or are taking other medications. Modern research on fern is revealing many exciting perspectives and properties of this plant. Here are some of the latest discoveries. Antioxidant properties. Recent studies confirmed the high levels of antioxidants in fern. These substances may help in protecting the body's cells from free radicals and related diseases. Anti-inflammatory properties. Fern is being studied as a potential agent for reducing inflammation in the body. This may be helpful in treating conditions associated with chronic inflammation. Effect on the immune system. Some studies suggest that fern may have a positive effect on the immune system, boosting its function and increasing the body's resistance to infections. Improved digestion. Studies also suggest that fern may help the digestive system work more efficiently by helping to absorb nutrients. Anti-carcinogenic properties. Some scientific papers are investigating the potential effects of fern on malignant tumors. While the results are not yet conclusive, this is breaking new ground in the field of cancer control. These findings raise interest and hope for the future use of fern as an additional tool in medicine. However, it is important to remember that more research and clinical trials are needed to draw final conclusions about its efficacy and safety. For all its potential, fern also has its limitations and potential risks, which are important to be aware of. Allergic reactions. Some people may exhibit an allergic reaction to fern. This can manifest as skin rashes, itching, or even more serious allergic symptoms. Therefore, an allergy test should be performed before starting to take it. Drug interactions. Fern may interact with some medications, enhancing or weakening their effects. This can be dangerous, especially if a person is taking prescription medications. A doctor should be informed about taking fernet. Contraindications during pregnancy and lactation. Fern is not recommended for pregnant and lactating women, as its effects on fetal development and the condition of the newborn can be negative. Limitations in liver and kidney disease. People with liver and kidney disease should be cautious when using fern as it may aggravate the situation. Dosage and monitoring. It is important to stick to the recommended dosage and not exceed it. Respectful use of fern may cause side effects and complications. Be sure to consult a qualified physician before you start taking fern or any other herbal remedy. He or she will be able to evaluate your medical history and make recommendations that are appropriate for your health condition and needs. It is important to remember that uncontrolled use of plants for medicinal purposes can be harmful to your health. In conclusion, let's summarize our main findings. We have looked at the amazing properties of the fern and its potential in medicine. This plant with a rich history of use could be of assistance in treating a variety of diseases and improving overall health. We encourage you to not only familiarize yourself with information about the fern, but to start exploring the world of medicinal plants in general. Gather knowledge, consult with professionals and doctors, and perhaps discover new ways to maintain your health using natural resources. If you've enjoyed our information, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with new research and interesting topics. And also share this video with others who could benefit from knowledge about medicinal plants. Together we can make the world a healthier place and take care of our well-being.